Okay, so uh, let's analyze the code right here. So uh, mode, so which is the timer one in event counting mode, number fifty. And then set timer to one. Start timer at one. And then move DDL. So the DDL below by the B seven segment code on DD DDL. So so uh, this will be used for the uh, seven segment display. And here to enable the display, we clear port three and three point four and three point three. So enable display zero. And then we have a function called again. Uh, so this will set the direction. So this set direction will uh, set the motor's direction. It will push the value. Uh, it will save the value of A on the stack and push save the value of quotation 20H first bit addressable location in M on stack and so we clear A so now we use uh, the uh, run we modify the contents of the run using move 20H so we clear it by uh, inputting 0 we have move C P2.2 so this is to receive the input from this switch 0 which is 2.0 so put, Z, put, put SW0 in carry so we have uh, AX0 and then move the contents of the carry to accumulator 0, 0 and then move CF0 move current motor in the direction of carry so that is the function of move c at zero and here we have move zero c move the lsb of location 28 which has a bit address zero so it will move to lsb of the location 28 okay so the, the c the carry will be stored in the uh, 28 so right here so here is CJ and E. So compare SW0 with F0. If they are not the same, the motor's direction need to be reversed. So if they are the same, the, mo the motor's direction does not need to be changed. So, so A. So A. So we are comparing. So compare Jeff. Uh, compare jump if not equal so if a the value start in a the value start in h is the same we do not change direction but if they are not the same we change direction so the change direction we will go here so first we stop the motor by clearing 3.0 and 3.1 so let's see so after that we call clear timer so the clear timer just basically uh, resets the value the revolution count in a to zero so stops the timer one clear tr1 and we move reset tl the timer timer one low by to zero set p so so here we just clear the the revolution count and the timer back to zero and then starts it again by setting the tr1 the timer to one and then we return from the subroutine so so we are at right here so hd so after this we're going here so here we check again for the inputs from the SW I believe so move SW value to carry and then F0 so so we move C to F0 so this is the new motor direction so move 3.0 move SW0 value carry to motor control bit 1 so that is 3.0 motor control bit 1 
and in part of carry, complement the carry. And then, move it to motor bit 0. It will therefore have the opposite value to control bit 1 and the motor will start again in the new direction. So, basically here we are accepting the new variable which is the, uh, what do you call this? Which is the, uh, which is coming from the uh, button S to, uh, from the switch 0. So the value stored in that will be uh, added to our basically program so that uh, when it reaches the port 3.1, it will rotate the motor in the opposite direction. So here we have pop 20H, get the original value from notification H, get the original value for A from the stack. So with the LED codes, so basically we are just uh, going here. So okay, so that is set direction. So TL1 will be low right to A. So compare jump if not equal. Skip the next instruction. So move C A. So get the segment segment count from the code table, which is the D B. So D B T R. So basically, we are we are increment in in the skip part. We are incrementing the pointer to our uh, lead codes right here to the D lead codes. So 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 that when a rotation is made, so it will change the value of the accumulator so instead from this value of accumulator you will have this and that value will be used to to display in our seven second display so here which is move p1 move the number of revolutions so indicator to display zero and then do it all again so basically here we will be stuck in this loop so again we will check if the direction has changed. If not, we will move the, uh, what do you call this? We will get the displayed output on the, on the, uh, move on the, okay. So if then, what is in the Okay, so we will be getting the number of revolutions here so will be stored in A. The current number of revolutions will be stored in A. And if the current number of revolutions is not equal to 10, we go to skip. Yeah, this is to update the, the 7 segment display. So since it is not equal to 10, we change A. So we increment A by 1. Uh, by TPTR, which is ideally the DNX, the which is technically DNX combination with bits here, and uh, which will be displayed on our port. So, okay, so here uh, there's additional accumulator 0.7. So, this is to display the motor's direction. So, I believe this is the decimal point right here. So, this is zero, then the motor is rotating clockwise and if that is not zero it will be rotating counterclockwise so you can see it change so right there so, yeah so okay okay hello and welcome to my laboratory six so the laboratory six is the experiment about this D. DC motor in the 8051 system. So 
here are the objectives to apply the experiment number 3. What we have learned, uh, understand use this set of open DC motor and, and demonstrate how DC motor works. So, here is some of the diagrams. So, here this is just the control thing to enable the, uh, the, they call this, the motor right here. So, in the uh, 851, this is the control where we can have two input signals but only one can be present. So, that's why it's stated here that T1, uh, terminal 1 and terminal 2 cannot be on at the same time. So, as T3 and T4 cannot be on at the same time uh, because it will short circuit. So, I believe uh, that will uh, be the difference for the clockwise and counterclockwise rotation. So, uh, so here is the uh, combination right here in order to trigger this uh, the rotation of the motor. So, so, so in this experiment, we will be demonstrating the clockwise and display the number of revolutions in the 7 second display. So, it will only show up to 9 and then reset. So, the motor is going to be 3.5. Black source. Okay. So now to go to our uh, code. So I already launched this simulator. So let's just copy this the code and let me uh, remove some of the comments. So that Here, so let's just remove this one. So this is just the website where uh, this one is encrypted. So I encrypted this garbage. So okay. So this is. Let's just delete all the comments. Okay. You know, let's just keep it the same. Yeah, let's move the So after that, okay. So let's let's just say this one. Experiment six. Uh, uh, let's just say. So uh, let's follow this. So let's create the program. Choose one. Save and then show the output. And Okay, so let's do that. So let's assemble, no errors, and let's run. So as you can see here, first there's a bit of delay, and then and then as you can see, there's a rotation that is happening here. So as you can see, the LED shows the number of revolutions it made. So the basis here is when the the arrowhead or the rotating piece reach the this part this extra line part right here so as you can see when it hits that two so three and then four it updates in the interval of two so zero two four six eight and then eight is the maximum here or and let's just wait maybe it will show nine and so after eight it shows zero so, okay, so if we, uh, okay, 
So, so the program, let's answer question one. So, uh, I have converted the file to the from PDF to document. So, I will be editing this later. So, illustrate it using a picture or a drawing. So, let's answer that. So, by So let's just take a screenshot of this bottom part. Uh, let me check if I am recording with audio. Okay, so I'm recording with audio. It's good. paste the picture and let's add a little text so the motor will rotate clockwise and the seven four digits and the seven seven display will show how many rotations it made of two rotations. So let's see. So let's reset. Okay. Let's run. So let's see here. If the if the how do you call this the blade of the motor hits the how do you call this the line on top of the circle it comes as one rotation. Okay, so there that is for question one. So question two while running the program it can be a serve. From the seven segment display. 
illustrate it with so I think I'll just copy paste this so because it already it contains also the seven seven display so so the seven seven display shows the number of rotations it made uh, in uh, in the interval it made starting from zero to four six eight and back to zero. zero. Right, so let's see if I answered it correctly. It is rate of the can be a server for this sentence display. It uses the binary of the seven segment segment binary to display the numbers properly. Yeah. So my question two. Okay, question three. Press switch zero below the LED ones, and what will happen to the DC and explain the output? So, okay, so let's do that. So, so let's reset, assemble, run, and let's press. Zero. This is switch zero. Uh, so let's run it without pressing zero first. So it, as you can see, it returns counterclockwise. So uh, it rotates clockwise. I mean, so it rotates clockwise. So what will happen if we press zero? So let's press zero. So we wait. So as you can see, there's a bit of delay to stop the motor, and then it rotates counterclockwise and resets the uh, seven segment display. So again, let's unpress this one. So six. So we are at six, and it if it rotates, it starts restarts itself to zero. So that will be the answer. So. Let's pause the execution. At first, when S0 is not less, the the ballistic motor rotates clockwise and updates the cells and display in the interval term, term of from 0 to 8 in the from 0 to 4 6 8 but when SW0 is pressed, it program the motor will stop entirely, then will rotate counterclockwise and resets the display of number of rotations rotations in the set set that is very back to zero and and counts Two, four, 
So use this slider model. So that is for question four. Okay, so for question four. So let's run this one. So currently we are at max, and if we go to minimum, it slows. The rotation of the motor slows. Let's see, zero, one. Uh, let's check. So, zero, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so nine. Okay. This part. So let's just unload. Okay, I think I need I need to revise my answer. So this slider represents the speed of spin of the motor. Next we make the speed faster and mean we make the speed no, so that is my answer for question four. And what is the effect of changing the value? So
so let's reset so let's change this to uh, one two three four five so let's try this so let me change the first bit uh the first combination so it showed a different uh, number right here so the so my answer for that is it will change the output on the seven second display the db are the binary seven segment seven segment binary combination that displays numbers zero to nine and when this is changed when these values were was changed it will a different a different output on the display so instead of having zero display it it will be something else so that so I think that's it so uh, we have question five. So uh, there are a few answers that I want to change. Uh, as seen so need okay. So what I uh, we show how many rotations it made counting from zero to the nine rotations then goes back to zero if it exceeds nine So we stop right here. To ah uh, okay. So it records the current location of the motor so that the starting. So that it uses it as a basis for the number of additions it made. So
Okay, so I like edit some of this. So I think for zero to one and back to zero. And back to zero, this is okay. So Zero to nine, and back to zero. Zero to nine, and zero. Slider is set to max the same segment display will not be able to keep up with the changes and will skip some numbers when displaying the number of rotations. i.e. it will add from C to form 6 8 stop of 0 to 9 because it is because the motor goes way too fast When the slider is set to, so let's run this. Thank you. 
strategy from zero to yeah. Okay, so I think that's it for my answer. So I'm just gonna update this one. So. Okay. Let's update that so. okay. oh, Let's see, set this up. See you.
so i think that's it for me for my experiment 6 thank you for watching